Hellos and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm getting into storage tips for designer handbags. Now these of course work for any type of handbags, but there are things that I pay particular attention to when storing, you know, especially my more pricey bags. There are things that you can do to help your bags last longer. There are also mistakes that you can make that uh, can damage your bag in the long term. And by the way, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I make videos about luxury handbags, fashion and lifestyle. So if that's your thing, please subscribe and turn on notifications. I'd love to give you helpful tips about designer handbags, whether it's be buying or how to take care of them. So I'm gonna get into 10 tips for storing your designer handbag. The first tip is to keep your bags stuffed when they're not in use. Many different ways you can stuff your handbags, and I'll show you a couple different ways that I stuff my handbags. For example, my Valentino bag here, I have just used extra dust bags, like shoe dust bags, or belt dust bags, or like whatever extra dust bags you have laying around. You can put them in here to just fill out the shape. You wanna be careful not to crunch the strap. You wanna just make sure you fill out the corners without overfilling it and making it bulge out. I always like to close my bags after I have them stuffed and that way it sits really nicely on my shelf and it's not sagging. If you leave your bag on the shelf for a long time, you can see those creases become permanent. Stuffing out the corners especially really help your bag hold its shape much better over the years. A couple other ways to stuff your bags as well. One is to getting pillow inserts. Now full disclosure, I was sent this. So something like this is a great way to just fill out a bag like this without over stuffing it and helping it keep that more rectangular shape. And this was sent to me by the company Bagpad. I really like this because this is the faux fur material. It's really soft, it's in a light color. You don't wanna get something that's maybe like a dark color when you have a light interior. This is one I recommend and I will have them linked below in case you're looking for them. I also have one in my Balenciaga City. I did previously have my Balenciaga City stuffed with dust bags, which can work, but I will say there's quite a big difference in the corners in how the pillow keeps the bag stuffed versus how the dust bags kept it stuffed. You can also use inserts to keep your bag's shape. So I don't have any like inserts that keep the shape. I have a base shaper for my cocoa handles and for my wallet on a chains. But those are really for more structured bags. But if you have like tote bags, like Neverfull, I think an insert can really help fill out the corners. I know inserts are really popular for Hermes bags as well. So those are things that I would explore more for my slap tier bags. And they're things I've been meaning to get actually, especially for my Neverfull. So that's another way to help store your bags if you store them upright. Keep the insert inside. It usually keeps the base shape quite well from what I've seen in other people's collections. So that's also another option for stuffing your bag. The second storage tip has to do for people who keep their bags displayed like mine out in the open, and that's to keep the dust bag inside the coordinating bag. If you get more designer bags, it's harder to keep up with which dust bag goes with each bag. Just folding them nicely and storing them on the inside is a great way to help you keep track of what dust bag goes with which bag. If you're gonna use the bag for travel and put it inside the dust bag, it's right there and easy for you to grab. So this is more of a convenience tip than it is like something you have to do. Some people also like to store their handbags in their dust bags, that's completely fine as well. Third tip is to make sure that you remove all removable straps and store them inside the bags. You keep this in a dust bag instead of stored out like this and you just keep the strap on the bag and it gets like, under the bag in some weird funky way. You could get a bend in the strap or it could cause a mark on the bag. So just taking the strap and rolling it like this. See, I have the first pocket stuffed, the last pocket's kind of too skinny, that doesn't matter. And then I keep the strap rolled up like this. The trick is to keep the bulky hardware on the outside so the strap is not wrapped over like the bigger metal pieces. You don't want this. So when you take the strap off, Start with the end that doesn't have the buckle and just gently roll it. You don't want to force it too tight as well. You'll kind of feel it as you roll the strap and just gently roll it like this. Bags like Chanel where the strap is not detachable, you want to pull as much as you can of the strap through into the inside and store it on the inside. Sit with your dust bags first and keep the strap on top of the dust bag so that your corners are filled out properly first and you're not creating marks of the strap on the inside of your bag. But then once you close it and it's got this little bit, you want it to have a little hang. I usually try to keep this towards the back of the bag so 
A thin strap like this is not going to create a mark, but if you have a chunkier chain strap to your Chanel bag, you definitely want to wrap this part of the chain in some type of paper or in an extra dust bag. So when it's stored on top, it's not putting a mark. I try to avoid having the strap directly on top like this. I like for it to hang back like this because then it, there's no pressure on the top of this leather here. It's just kind of delicately hanging off the back and you don't want too much of it hanging or even like too little of it hanging, just somewhere around there. Definitely make sure don't tuck it in this pocket here because that pressure is gonna create a mark into this here. So just make sure it's delicately hanging at the top of the back of the bag and that's gonna help you store your Chanel chains in a way that it doesn't damage your bag. Fourth tip is to have a place to dump the contents of your bag every single day. Day. So when I come in with stuff in my bag, I have a little box inside of this drawer here. I just empty the contents of my bag into that and then I stuff the bag again and put it back on my display. I change my handbags every day. Even if you use the same handbag every day, it's a good idea to have an insert for that bag, remove that insert, stuff the bag for the evening, and let it get some rest. Imagine you have something sticking into the side of your tote and it's just kept there overnight and you're not paying attention. It can get a lot more structure wear, especially if you switch your bags out a lot. Having this place to dump my stuff makes changing my bags so much easier. It doesn't have to be fancy. Mine's concealed in a drawer. You can even use like an empty shoe box or something like that inside of a drawer as the place where you dump all your stuff and then just at the end of every week go through and get rid of all the receipts the trash things like that and put away the small items You're not having to clean out your bag every day and put every single tiny item away you just have a place where you just dump all the items and it's just so much easier fifth tip has to do with patent leather bags now I'm starting to weed out patent leather in my collection I only have two bags left and if you're gonna store patent leather you want to make sure they're not on glass shelves like this patent when it sticks to things, it can create marks on it. What I did is I opted instead of having glass shelves below to have the pullout trays, so my patent leather is stored there, or if you do have glass shelves, get a little piece of velvet or felt. You can get them on Amazon or at a craft store. Probably in white would be best because you don't want to color to transfer onto your patent either. And you can set the bag on top of that little piece. Also, you want to make sure that your patent leather doesn't stick to any other bag, so you don't want to touch any other bag. Sorry if the camera angle changed just a little bit. I had to change my battery. But my sixth tip is to make sure you're storing them out of direct sunlight. So my cabinet does not face a window and generally in this room, my shutters are completely closed if I'm not in this room. Sunlight can fade your bag over time and that's something you need to be really careful about. I know it looks great like for an Instagram moment, you know, to have your bags opposite of a window and you know, you can take your photos there, film your content, things like that if you're a content creator. But for me, I prefer to pull my lights out when I need to, you know, film a piece of content versus having my bags get damaged over time. I know it's a little difficult and sometimes you don't have the option. So if they are gonna be stored in front of sunlight, I would really recommend actually keeping them in the dust bags for storage because those dust bags are gonna protect against any discoloration. The tricky thing about this is, is like you may not notice this in a couple of months, but you will start to notice it in several years. And unfortunately, discoloration is something that once it happens, your only really option is to re-dye the bag to get the color back again. You can't really clean off discoloration like you can clean off a stain at a bag spa. So discoloration is something that you have to prevent rather than treat. Obviously once a bag is discolored, it tanks the value of your bag. You're not gonna get good resale value out of it. And also if you dye your bag, you don't get the same value of a re-dyed bag as if it was the original color of the bag. But if you're one who's gonna resell your bags, this is a really important tip. Generally, if you're a person who wants to keep your bag for years or decades, sunlight is something that you really need to be aware of when storing your bag. Number seven is going to be a bit of a controversial tip. I'm gonna explain my reasoning, so please stick with me through the whole tip so you understand my whole thought process behind this. And that is, do not store your bags inside of the boxes. Know that some people recommend, especially with like Hermes, Kelly's, and Birkins, to store them inside the box laying down to help keep the shape. And yes, that might be true for some of your bigger bags. Actually storing them inside the box cannot be said for every climate. So if you're keeping it in the box, especially if it's shut as well and you live in a humid climate, you can get a musty odor over time. The glue from the box can get onto the bag and discolor your bag. The things that could happen in that box, that especially if it's a bag you don't use often, you don't take it 
it out. It can cause the leather to dry out and crack depending on the climate that you live in. really recommend if you don't want to keep them on display like this, I get that's not for everyone, store them in the dust bags but not inside the box. And if you do want to have it laying down like you have an Hermes bag, keep it laying down but keep the lid off of the box. But if you want a tip for storing those types of bags like a Kelly or even like a Coco handle in the bigger size and you don't want to put it out on display like this, get yourself a drawer, line it with acid-free paper, type of paper that's almost the grade of preserving an artwork that if you put a print in between these two pieces of paper, it's not going to ruin the print or painting in any way. Crinkle that paper and lay it in the drawer in the particular shape of the bag that will support the structure. Maybe if the bag has like a triangle, you want more paper up here and less paper down here when the bag is laying down. So create that shape in the drawer and keep your bag in the dust bag on top of that type of acid-free paper. To make sure the drawer is a bit open, like this has some ventilation to it. Eighth tip is that if you wanna have your bags on display, keep them behind glass doors. These are the doors that are typically shut when I'm not filming. It really helps eliminate a lot of dust. Yes, every now and then I still need to dust the shelves and dust the bags, but it decreases significantly the amount of dust that gets on the bag. So if you're gonna keep your bags out on a shelf, I really don't recommend open shelving unless you're dusting like every single week. Honestly, I feel like that's too much upkeep, especially if you have a lot of bags, but glass doors really are a help to keep dust off the bags. You wanna have your bags displayed. My ninth tip is keep some margin between your bags and don't let them touch each other. There are some materials, like if you've got, you know, like fabric and fabric bags together, that's not a big deal. But if you have leather handbags, make sure there's just like the teeniest, tiniest bit of room in between them, even if it's just like a centimeter. I know not everyone has the ability of having their bags spaced completely out. And if you've got to keep your bags like this on a shelf and there's too many of them that you don't have room, that's the time when I would say keep them in the dust bags. So the dust bags create that barrier between the bags. If your bags are all black, not as big of a deal. But if you have colorful bags, keep some space between your bags because if they get stuck together, if they're kept there too long, that can create color transfer between the two bags, depending on the environmental conditions of the space where you keep them. My 10th tip is to make it pretty. Honestly, if you can and you can do some type of storage where you feel like you're shopping your bags, it just makes me so happy to see every day and I can see everything I have and I tend to use more of what I have. For the normal person, I probably haven't slowed down on buying bags, but for me, I have noticed a difference in like how many bags I'm buying because I'm really just enjoying using mine here every day when I'm getting dressed. And genuinely, it's like shopping for bags. It's like I look at my display and I'm like, which one do I want to use today? I reach for bags that when I had them stored differently before in my last house, I didn't reach for them as much because they weren't top of the mind rather than going for the same bags over and over again. I really shop my closet now and I love that about having a nice handbag storage display. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, I'm going to do a full tour of my cloth if you want to call it that because it's my closet and office. Once I'm done, I have a few DIY projects, not quite there yet, but it's getting there. and. I know you've been asking for it, so I will do a full tour and I'll kind of go through all the drawers and things like that then so you can see what I've built into my storage exactly. So I hope you found some helpful storage tips in this video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see how I style my bags and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.